Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you the proper tension that you should have on the chain of your chainsaw. So I've got a few saws here in the shop. Some have different adjusting methods on them and I'll be showing you that in a minute. First of all, I'm going to show you the proper tension that you should have on the chain. That's a question I often get asked here in the shop and online. First of all, I'm going to recommend that you adjust your chain when it's cold. If you adjust your chain when it's hot, it might be slightly stretched and then when it cools down, it's going to be extra tight on your bar. First of all here, I'm going to show you a chain that is properly adjusted. You might want to wear gloves when you do this just to avoid cutting your fingers. And here's the proper tension. When you pull down on the chain, you should see part of the drive links underneath, like three quarters of them, and then the chain will spring right back. And I've taken off a glove here just to make it easier for myself. If you do so, just be extra careful. So again, I've got the chain pulled. You can see about three quarters or less of the drive links. When you let go, it springs right back up to the bar. And when you have good tension on your chain, it will be easy to rotate the chain on the bar. Always rotate the chain forward, not backwards. The reason I say that is because if you're rotating it backwards, it can get jammed sometimes because of the sprocket and you could cut yourself. And what I have here is a chainsaw with a chain that is excessively loose. This should be tightened up properly. And you can see here that the play is way too excessive. On every chainsaw, when you need to adjust the chain, what you have to do is loosen up the two nuts over here. You do not need to take them off. And next, what you need to do is locate the adjusting screw. On this saw here, it's on the inboard side. It's right down here. On the MS361 here that I showed you previously, the adjusting screw is right here between the two nuts. And this system here is very convenient because it's very easy to access the adjusting screw on this saw. And on this steel MS180, it's a toolless adjusting chainsaw. You do not need this scrunch over here. You just simply loosen this part over here and then tighten up the chain accordingly with this part here. However, today I will need to reach on the inboard side of the chainsaw to adjust that chain. Now that I have both nuts loose, I'm going to hold the bar up. Always hold the bar up when you adjust your chain. And now while you're holding the bar, reach in and turn the adjusting screw clockwise. You can do this in increments of a quarter turn or half a turn if you want. And you will see that chain tighten up as you do that. And I'm just going to give it another quarter turn. And this seems quite good. And keep holding the bar up and tighten up the two nuts evenly. And you want these fairly tight. Don't over tighten the nuts on these smaller saws because you can strip the plastic part where the studs go into the body of the saw. And by the way guys, I always adjust my chains with the break off. Next, what you want to do is turn the chain to make sure it turns smoothly. And this is good. So as you saw here guys, it's quite easy to adjust the chain on your chainsaw and to make sure you have the good tension. If you don't keep good tension, you are going to wear your bar prematurely. And there's also the safety hazard that if you use a chainsaw with a chain that is way too loose, the chain may come off and hurt you. So before I take my chainsaws out, the first thing I check is the chain tension. And here's one last look at the chain tension I have on my bigger saw here. Again, you don't want to see the whole drive link here. It's got to be partially into the bar when you pull. And when you release the chain, it just goes back in on its own. So make sure you always work safe, guys, and always check the chain tension on your chainsaw before using it. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe, and you can follow me on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, and Instagram. And have yourselves a great day.